English Standard Version and Mordecai also gave him a copy of the written decree issued in Susa for their destruction that he might show it to Esther and explain to her and command her to go to the king to beg his favor and plead with him on behalf of her people. And Hata went and told Esther what Mordecai had said. Then Esther spoke to Hatak and commanded him to go to Mordecai and say, All the king's servants and all the people of the king's province know that if any man nor woman goes to the king inside the inner court without being called, there is but one law to be put to death except the one to whom the king holds out the golden scepter so that he may live. But as for me, I have not been called to come in to the king these 30 days. And they told Mordecai what Esther had said. Then Mordecai told them to reply to Esther. Do not think to yourself that in the king's palace you will escape any more than all the other Jews. For if you keep silent at this time, relief and deliverance will rise for the Jews from another place, but you and your father's house will perish. And who knows whether you have come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Come on and tell somebody amen. 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 Now I'm going to go into this story, but I do want to share with you that when you want to begin to look at the call of God on your life, God does not want you to look any further than your experience with him. Now, I just read you Esther's story, and I want to share with you that Esther was an orphan, and he, she was being raised by her uncle Mordecai. So Mordecai was in trouble, and how many of you know that because you're now in the palace, that doesn't mean that you forget where you come from. May I help somebody understand that when you get to where you're going, you've got to remember that that was not just about you, that other people are looking for you to help them. Am I helping somebody? 